Hey YouTube, wanted to do a quick video to explain the oil change on a 2016 Arctic Cat Bearcat 7000 XT. I've already uh, drained the oil and uh, getting ready to fill it back up, but this was not a straightforward oil change and I just wanted to give you guys some information about this because I couldn't find anything on YouTube and I love to do a little cheat sheet before I start a job like this and look at a video and it helps me out. So basically, the tricky part is uh, accessing the drain plug on the bottom of your oil storage tank. It's at the very bottom here. See if I can uh, get in here. Maybe I go from the other side. In order to access that drain plug, you can't get at it from the uh, access plate on the bottom of the snowmobile. You have to pull your air box out. Over here on my seat of the sled is the air box. These are your three intake tubes. One of them popped off, but it should snap right back in. They're secured to the carbs with hose clamps, so you have to loosen your hose clamps. There's an air temperature sensor right here that plugs in that you have to disconnect. And also pop off three air hoses. I'm not sure if they're air hoses, but their hoses go into your air box and those just slide out. And after you get all that stuff disconnected, the air box will just lift out of the snowmobile and that'll gain you access to the drain plug on the bottom of your oil reservoir so you have to drain that and you have to pull your drain plug on the bottom of the engine and sp spin your filter off I'll go around the other side of the snowmobile and try to show you that drain plug real quick working in a small garage today so that drain plug is located down on the bottom of the tank right there if you can see it don't have my flashlight but it's this drain plug right here this is all metric I think that was a 14 millimeter but I can't remember right now and these are the extra my two other hose clamps here's the uh, where they attach to on your on your engine uh, other than that I purchased the uh, Arctic Cat kit Part number uh, 6639-529 comes with the oil you need, a new Yamaha filter, and these two seals. The O-ring goes on the plug that goes to the oil drain tank, and the uh, copper gasket goes on the screw that goes into the engine. Just a heads up, it's an Allen screw. There's three of them on the bottom of your crankcase, and it's a little confusing at first, but if you look at them, you'll see an Allen head that has this copper gasket on it and that's the one you need to pull to drain the oil it's not a really convenient location the uh, <laughs> I had to use a oil filter wrench that was a plier type that was the best bet to get in there and spin that filter off and it's a pretty tight filter at least on my machine it was other than that the my access panel back is back on the snowmobile to get get at the filter and the drain plug I can show you where that is I just have my sled actually lifted up a little bit with a uh, jack stand for the rear, rear of the machine. But let me tell you, this makes a mess. When you pull that, there's your access panel. And those are a Torx screw. And the Torx size was a T25. I believe, yeah, T25 Torx for that. I might not be right. I didn't do this all at once, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up. I'm getting ready to fill this thing back up with oil and uh, put the air box back in and uh, give it a test run. But I didn't find a thing on YouTube about it. You can find the manual online or use your owner's manual. I think that has it in there. But good luck. Uh, if you guys have any pointers about how to drain this oil better out of the, your oil reservoir, let me know because I got oil absolutely everywhere. And I've already wiped it out once, and I might uh, give it another wipe, but I feel like I'm going to be dripping oil out of the bottom of my belly pan for a while, and I just did not see a better way to do it. The manual says to make sure your steering linkage is out of the way, and mine was out of the way, so it drained into the bottom of the sled, and I thought there was a nice channel that would have it drain where the uh, access panel is, but it actually just drained out of the bottom of the plastic belly pan and all over my garage, so... Be prepared for that situation other than that the uh, air temperature sensor it's a little tricky they always are have to push on this quite hard and then give it a little tug 
and it'll come right off. I don't really have much else. The only other thing that really bothered me was uh, <clears throat> the boot that connects to uh, my carb that's close to the exhaust. The hose clamp screw was facing this, this way and it was impossible to get to. I barely got it with a long flathead screwdriver. The other ones I was able to zip off pretty quickly with a uh, socket. So uh, check yours out and uh, let me know if you have any pointers. Thanks.